stay tuned. Hello there, YouTube. It's I, Horos. And this is a tag movie uh, life. This is a movie life tag video. And I was tagged by Emily's Adventures in Horrorland. So, thank you very much for the tag. And basically what it is, is you uh, you got to answer these 14 questions within the tag. So, here we go. First question. First steps. The first film you remember seeing as a kid. For me, it's The Mask. 1994, Jim Carrey. Cameron Diaz. Step two. Uh, two? Teenage Crush. Actress, which actress or actor actor slash actress did you have a crush on for me it's got to be billy piper when doctor who returned to our screens in 2005 i just looked at her and i had like the biggest crush on her um, you yeah. and a lot of young teenage lads around my age must have seen that too you know For me, Sharknado. I really wanted to hate that, but I found it wonderfully shit. I've been on a few first dates, uh, but the first um, the date the first date that I've gone to the pictures to is well, very very recently. Um, it was Beauty and the Beast, the new one. My lady friend wanted to see it. <laughs> okay, and number five, Home Comforts. What movie reminds you of time with your family? Jumanji, the 1995 film with Robin Williams. I can remember when I first watched it. I was with my whole family, mum, dad, sister, and we just watched it. And question and number six. First uh, heartbreak. What movie um, upset you or hit you more than you thought? For me, King Kong Lives. You know the sequel to the 1976 film with Linda Hamilton. I just thought it was sad at the end, you know, when King Kong had died and he got to see his son before he go and he was in tears. It was a sad moment, I think. Okay. Next. Question seven. Uh, what was the first movie you watched without your family? Kangaroo Jack. Saw it with um, with my sorry at school. Well, went to the pictures with school to see it. Um, as a kid, I would always watch Toy Story. Um, but these days, I like to watch slashers, and I do like Friday the Thirteenth. In fact, I've got all the films. So there's the answer for that one. Um, learn new language. What is your favourite non-English film? Um, for me, Pan's Labyrinth. I, I learnt Spanish at school, and I, I the first foreign I think I watched was Pan's Labyrinth with English subtitles, uh, direct, directed by Guillermo del Toro. It's a dark fantasy adult film.
Doctor Who. I would always make sure I'm home on a Saturday night to watch that. These days I'm not as committed but I still watch it but yeah when I got the box sets I used to binge watch them again and again. Number To be honest, I don't really watch much telly when I'm ill. I like to sleep a lot and you know, focus on getting better. Um, so, film-wise, I don't really have an answer for that. So, so yeah, sorry. Uh, uh, number 12, looking to the future, what movie are you looking forward to seeing? For me, Star Wars Episode 8, The Last Jedi. You know, because I'm a huge Star Wars fan. I'm surprised no one's really tried to remake Clockwork Orange. You know, I would like to see that remade, Clockwork Orange. Scream, horror, Full Monty, it's a local film to me. It's a film in Sheffield where I'm from. And Star Wars, all of them. And there you have it. All 14 questions. I want to say thanks to Emily from Emily's Adventures in Horrorland um, for the tag. So now I need to tag, I think, four people it is. And I'm going to tag... Yo, know, I've seen Danny Nightmare from Horror Addicts do one. So I want to see, I'm going to tag Gory B movie from Horror Addicts. So Gory B, you're it. Uh, the Movie Phantom, you're it. 13th Wolfman and Matthew Movies. Okay, you guys have got 24 hours. Go! And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share on my social media links down below. Join my Facebook horror group. And until next time, don't have nightmares.